coming up on 5-Minute News. Black college funding dims amid federal budget battle. Pandora Papers show London is the centre of tax avoidance. And UN report warns of water crisis amid global climate change. It's Wednesday, October 6. I'm Anthony Davis. Optimism for transforming funding for America's historically black colleges was running high after the Biden administration included $45 billion for the schools in its massive multi-trillion dollar spending plan. That outlook quickly soured as the funding became ensnared in democratic infighting over the size of the economic package and what it should cover. The latest iteration of the bill includes just $2 billion that can go towards educational programs and infrastructure for black colleges, and even that amount will be reduced to competitive grant funding rather than direct allocations. That's especially disappointing for many smaller, private, historically black colleges that don't have the endowments as their larger and more well-known peers. They often struggle to upgrade their campuses and programs, hurting their ability to attract students. The Biden administration's original $3.5 trillion proposal called for spending at least $45 billion on black colleges and other minority-serving institutions to update their research programs, create incubators to help students innovate, and help traditionally underserved populations. Getting a slice of that would have been a boon to Philander Smith College in Little Rock, Arkansas, a private historically black college. President Roderick L. Smothers said federal coronavirus relief money was instrumental in helping the university survive the pandemic with technology upgrades and student support, but he said Biden's original proposal provided the kind of money that would have had long-term impact. Transparency advocates are calling on Britain to tighten the country's defences against money laundering and tax avoidance, after a massive leak of financial data showed how London is a key destination of choice for some of the world's richest and most powerful people to conceal their cash. The cache of almost 12 million files shows how wealthy people around the world reportedly set up offshore companies to buy property and avoid taxes. Foreign individuals identified as beneficiaries of these types of offshore accounts in London include Jordanian King Abdullah II, Azerbaijan's president, and associates of Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. Abdullah has denied any impropriety, and Khan tweeted that his government would investigate anyone mentioned and take appropriate action if wrongdoing is found. The leaked financial data, dubbed the Pandora Papers, was published on Sunday by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists and its media partners, including Britain's Guardian newspaper and the BBC. Though the purchases are legal under British law, they highlight the complicated and often anonymous financial practices wealthy individuals use to avoid tax, far removed from the everyday experience of most of the British population. London is a go-to for the rich and powerful because it's home to a sophisticated ecosystem of businesses that can help in the process, including creative wealth management firms, high-end lawyers and long-established accounting firms. A 2019 analysis by transparency group Global Witness indicated that around 87,000 properties in England and Wales were owned by anonymous companies registered in tax havens. The London property market has for years struggled to shake off a reputation for playing a central role in how rich people around the world seek to hide and accentuate their wealth, with many prime properties in the heart of the city owned by non-nationals. Much of the world is unprepared for the floods, hurricanes and droughts expected to worsen with climate change and urgently needs better warning systems to avert water-related disasters, according to a report by the United Nations Weather Agency. Global water management is fragmented and inadequate, the report published on Tuesday found, with nearly 60% of 101 countries surveyed needing improved forecasting systems that can help prevent devastation from severe weather.
As populations grow, the number of people with inadequate access to water is also expected to rise to more than 5 billion by 2050, up from 3.6 billion in 2018. Among the actions recommended by the report were better warning systems for flood and drought-prone areas that can identify, for example, when a river is expected to swell. The report found that since 2000, flood-related disasters globally rose 134% compared with the previous two decades. Most flood-related deaths and economic losses were in Asia, where extreme rainfall caused by massive flooding in China, India, Indonesia, Japan, Nepal and Pakistan in the past year. Globally, the report found 25% of all cities are already experiencing regular water shortages. Over the past two decades, it said the planet's combined supplies of surface water, groundwater, and water found in soil, snow, and ice have declined by 0.4 inches per year. Despite some progress in recent years, the report found 107 countries would not meet goals to sustainably manage water supplies and access by 2030 at current rates. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.